Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this new video of AWS series. In this video, I will explain how we can create a IAM user. So that is identification and management services. Uh, so first, uh, let me just uh, go to my account and uh, then I will explain directly how we can uh, create a IAM user. In the meantime, I will tell what is IAM user. So basically, IAM user is uh, a user that can be created by a root user. And root user, let's say you are the owner of the company and you, you can create uh, multiple IAM users with different different uh, access or different different permissions to the, what they can do. Uh, so first let us create an IAM user and uh, in the subsequent videos I will tell that how you can add the different things in your IAM user. Okay. So let us start and I have logged in as a root user here and root user only can uh, create the IAM users. If you give the access to IAM user they can create other users as well. So first of all, we need to set our region to local. So that is Asia Pacific Mumbai for me. And you can choose your nearest location always. It's better to take the nearest location always. Now, how do we create a IAM user? Uh, so before the, to do that, you need to go to the IAM user service. Okay. So how to go there? So if you are first time opening your account, then this option will not be there. Just in the search bar, search for IAM. So then it will come IAM. So go to that. So now you are into the service of the IAM user. And uh, inside this, I will tell how to uh, how we can proceed step by step to create an IAM user. Okay, so now my IAM user service dashboard is open. I have to create a IAM user here. So how do I do that? So to, to do that, you can see in the left side, so many options are there. And first of all, you have to go to the user options. So this user option only, you can create the ARM users. Basically, you are creating users, those you can use the root access of your AWS series. So whatever you have purchased on and all that, that can be used by the ARM user for which you have given specific service. In this video, I will just explain how you can create an ARM user. And in the subsequent videos, I will tell how you can how you can give the permission to uh, some person uh, specific permission. So for that, you need to go to add user here. So once you go to the add user, then you will get the option of creating the ARM user here. Okay. Now you need to uh, give here the name of the ARM user. Let's say I am the owner of the company and I am to I want to create my team there. Right. So for that, what I need, I need five, four IAM users I should create. Means I am creating a virtual office and virtual office I am creating four, five employees and I'll give the IDs to the employees. So how do we do that? So first of all, we have to give the uh, name here. Let's say I'll give the name as the admin. That means the IAM user that I'm going to create. So this will be named as admin and I'll give in the all the access to the services. And here AWS credential type. So first of all, access key, access key and your password. So password is, I'll choose the password. Okay, so no need to choose this, uh, choose this access key. I'll explain what is this. For the time being beginner, you have to choose this password. Okay, now here auto generated password option is there as well as your custom password. There. So let's say I'll uh, write the custom password and I'll give a simple password. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, that's it. So you can check your password, whatever you win. So it is asking that, uh, okay, special character should be there. So let me just create uh, one more password. So I have given this password as admin at the rate 1, 2, 3. So you can give anything you want. Okay, and here it is next, it is asking user must create a new password and the next sign in user automatically get the arm user change password policy so here you can give the option that the user to to whom you are assigning the task they can choose the uh, choose the option to choose their password or else if you switch up this one then they have to use the password that you have created they cannot change the password so that authority remains with you so we'll go to the next permissions and here it is asking what permission the user has what the user can do so here add user group is there copy from existing user so if you have previously some users are there 
so if you assign to assign the same uh, permissions to them then you can do it but we will go to the atta attach existing policies so here i will do administrator policy okay so here administrator access i'll give and uh, we can give this one also administrator and you can give this one as well okay now this is what is the what it will do is it will give the full administration at um, means uh, power to the admin account the whoever employee you give this id password they can use the full access of the all the services that is available in um, aws in next videos we will i will show that how you can create separate uh, permissions for them and then we will go to tax so here it is uh, asking for tax which is optional so when it's optional i'll just keep it no need to give any tag there and then it will ask that username is admin aws type is aws management console access and console password is custom that i have created required password set is no and permissions permissions boundary is not set because we have given the full access so that's why it is written permission boundary is not set and in next videos we'll see what does that mean and how we can change that so after this i will just click on create user and uh, this is this has just created one user for me so that is the admin that i have created okay and here it is written users with aws management console can sign access sign in at this link is given okay if i download this csv file it is giving one option so if i download this csv file then uh, okay so here it will create one csv file let us see what is there inside the csv file so it will give you the details of the uh, i am user that you have created okay so the username is admin password is not given here access key is not we have not chosen that and the console login link so they have to use this link to login so this is the only link uh, through which they can login and also you can see that uh, here also the same link is there so for the time being let me just copy this one it will be used to access the am user service okay so that's it from uh, creating a am user now and uh, you can click uh, click on the send email and you can uh, go to your email and uh, whoever uh, you want to give the id password you can just share them okay so now we'll close it our am user is created and we need to access the am user so for that i will go to another browser here so i'll just open this uh, aids internet uh, explorer okay here the link i have copied i'll just paste it here and it will give me the option to sign in to the am user okay so let us see what is coming here so here by default the id name is coming here that is the id name of my account my account means what let me show here so okay we'll go to users go to this user admin and see what details we have here so you can see all this uh, details are available Us user uh, arn is there reference number and uh, security credence, uh, credentials tax i have not given security credential that i have created created the password and i can change the password here as well and other things are there i will uh, cover all these things in next videos then access advisory uh, access advisory is also there and uh, we can see what is allowed what is not allowed so here you see i am given all, uh, application is given for uh, all the ec2 services administration access ac administration access is given so that's why this am user can use all the services that is available in your uh, amazon aws okay so if i go to the dashboard so see here what is coming in the dashboard is it will give the information about the root user and the am user as well so here you can see number of users i have created is one okay policies is two so something previously created so it's coming as two but it will come on one only so one user is there if you click on here it will go to the user directly and here the account id is written okay 
so this account id is what this is the account id of your root account okay so using this account id only we have to log in to the am user so if i go to the second browser you can see the same id same account id is there now what is the uh, your am user name so i have just given admin as the user name and the password i have given is admin at the rate 1 2 3 okay now you will sign in here so let us see what is there okay i think i have entered the wrong password okay so now the password is correct and uh, it is logging into the am user service account so let us see what options are available here and what you need to do here or what else you can do in this am user account so if you see this am user account is looks basically same as the root user account okay so here uh, you need to change this to your local local region and then you should continue so make it a practice of changing your region always to the local one so now you can see here aws management console is open and in this you can access all the services that is accessible by the root user because we have not given any kind of restriction there we have given the full admin admin uh, access okay so now let us see whether we can avail the ec2 instance or not so here you can see the ec2 instance is there and you can uh, create your uh, own ec2 instance here okay so like this you can uh, create your am user and uh, you can use the am user as a uh, employee or anything else so that's it from this video and in the next video i'll tell that how you can uh, create am user with multi factor authentication that is very important as uh, that increases your security level of the user account okay so with this we'll stop we will stop the video here and in the next video i'll tell how you can create the multi factor authentication for a am user So thank you and visit for the next video